Hello, good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. And the list of names suggests that what we have in front of us here, Jim, is a 3-5-2 formation. It's a setup that's been enjoying quite a renaissance in recent times and one that complements the counter-attack very nicely with two strikers, two wing-backs and potentially two runners from central midfield. You can understand its attraction because it really can get the numbers into the opposition's box and equally it can get the numbers back into your own. And we're underway. Hoists it forward. Tries to locate someone up front. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Well, Red, he's sorted that out. Well, they can break here. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. <laughs> well, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. <laughs> Keeper sends it forward. to get it forward quickly. And significant chances so far, little to report, at least in terms of attacking intent. Out towards the flank. And that has been cleared. Rossinone have a free kick. And the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Keepers in command. Well positioned to make that interception. Forward it goes. Trying to get there. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. He's made sure that that won't get through. Tries to get it forward quickly. Looking to hit the front line. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Plays it out to the flank.
Well, both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. Clear cut, it's a free kick. There could be trouble here, but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Hoists it forward, and it's played forward, done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. Quick pull forward, well that's where he wants it. to get it forward quickly. Tried to play it through. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Tries to get it forward quickly. Cuts it out. Hoists it forward. And he's straight offside. He's got it, and he's got time. And he's onside. Looking to get within range. Oh, great defense. He's had a shot. A really close shave and the last action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. The opinion you'd like to express on the first half? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. And we're already back underway here. Rossinone can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose in this second half. They've got to persevere. Cooks through there. Hit into the middle. He's gone for it! And yes, it's there! The second half off to a spectacular start. One sweeping move executed with deadly efficiency. Look, if you want to be effective on the break, then the key element is always pace. That's what really rips the fences apart, and it's difficult to find an answer to it when it's applied like that. Spezia, break the deadlock. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Looking for a decent ball in. Pumps it into the area. Grossinone making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front, and this is something different. And it's played forward.
Rossinone, still trailing by one, and looking here to take it up a notch after the break. Pings it out wide. Plays it back. Oh, oh shoots it! Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Drives it towards the front. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Plays it out to the wing. Plenty waiting in the middle. Out to the left it goes. There are and they've been caught out here. Out for a throw. Spezia making consecutive changes here. Defending of the desperate variety. Forward it goes. No, no way through there. Looks to bypass the midfield. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tries to get it forward quickly. Goes direct to the front line. Impression so far, Jim? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. Dinks one in. Ball in, just miscalculated. Cross and Oni are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Tries to stroke it through. And the flag has stayed down. Frosinone are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. That'll be a throw in. Hoists it forward. Oh, good interception. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Deftly done. Spezia have it back and they can go again. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Now, can he capitalise? He's shot a goal! And that is the end of it. They hung on right till the finish. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game. Narrow defeat. Look, I think the draw might have been a 